New tonight, stone cold. That's how an El Paso police official described the expression on the face of the man accused of killing 22 people at a Walmart. Just minutes before the attack, the alleged shooter is believed to have posted a racist message on 8chan, an internet forum, which has become a haven for white nationalists and the far right. Tonight, the man who created that site wants it shut down. Out front now, Fred Brennan, the man who created 8chan. Uh, he cut ties to the site uh, in December. And Fred, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. I mean, for a long time, I know you defended 8chan, the site that you founded. Now you want to see it shut down. What made you change your mind? Um, I just, I changed my mind because of the way that they're administering the site. That's the main reason that I've changed my mind. If they continue to operate it as they are operating it, it is going to cause like effects way beyond 8chan on the internet, on U.S. law even, because they're so callous and they don't seem to care at all. You know, even Cloudflare, Matthew Prince, called them lawless, and that's pretty much true. They just seem to not really care about these shootings. They they don't even want to do the bare minimum. And, you know, a lot of people have criticized me for changing this. But if HN were to go down, there would be a new um, there would be a new equilibrium that would set itself up. So there is nothing to really worry about for its users. And I'm just glad that Cloudflare shut them down because now they have to pay market rate to do the things that they're doing. I mean, you 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 have said on Twitter, 8chan is full of incitements to violence. Literal mass murderers are using it, but they don't seem yeah, to care. A, How could this be? Yeah, go ahead. As early as yesterday, you know, the site has been going on and off now that Cloudflare is up and down. But even as early as yesterday, a full 24 hours after the shootings, they still had on the front page the words embrace infamy. It's like it's kind of like they're laughing about this and they don't really seem to care what's going on. You know, it's those words. If you were a victim of the shooting or the family of a victim or even just a normal person, you know, out in the world, you would find that extremely heartless and cold. And I'm pretty sure it led to, you know, the network not even wanting to work with them. And that's not the only thing, you know. They could have done so much to prevent uh, both the shooting being up or the manifesto being uploaded there and Cloudflare taking them down if they had just set up a few simple rules with the users, but they decided not to do that. So so let me ask you about the, the, the concept here, right? I mean, you have embraced 8chan's role as a venue Fred, in the past for ideas and posts that, that many would seem uh, see as abhorrent, right? I mean, at HN, I know you embraced a group of people that were kicked off another forum. Some of them were threatening violence, particularly against women. So, you know, you have embraced the concept of providing a forum for people to have a voice. Why did you feel that need originally? And, and why is this now over the line? Well, there was something you said that was not totally accurate. I actually resigned from 8chan in April 2016. So that was before like any shooting or anything was related to it or any great big act of violence. I know some people might consider the Gamergate controversy. That's what I'm referring to is Gamergate, right? Which was multiple threats of violence against women. Right. As far as I know, there was no actual violence that was occurred because of that. Right. So what I'm trying to understand is what made you change your your mind. Did you at that point, I guess, Fred, now when you look inside yourself, did you just, you didn't think it could actually ever become real? And then when it did, then you realized the power of those words or was it something else? Um, I, I would just say that I've realized that the current administrators of 8chan don't care that this is happening. They just, they feel like because of some Supreme Court cases or whatever, or, you know, whatever their reasoning is, that they don't have to do anything. But it's going to affect uh, the world at large and other communities. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the next administration is democratic, if new laws are passed, which make it impossible to run not only HN, but other sites like it. So the whole community is going to be affected by this. So, Fred, and can I they ask don't you, seem to care. The, can I just ask you one question before we go? 
And, and this is important oh. because a lot of these things happen out there and, and law enforcement can't find it. And a lot of people who work in tech don't want to work with law enforcement because they think government's bad. Do you think that websites have a responsibility or should they be calling the FBI to alert them to these sorts of things? Well, I mean, if it's, uh, it, see, the, the whole problem is it's like you wouldn't want to have a website where you have to follow the laws of the most strict country, right? That wouldn't be very fun. Like if you had a social media site that had to follow the laws of the most strict com- country for everybody, that would not be a fun site because, you know, Saudi Arabia, countries like that are included in that. But at the same time, there is a, you know, moral requirement for these kind of admins to work with law enforcement if it's a, you know, their country, or I would even say another country that is mostly free, you know, so maybe they wouldn't have to work with China or the Saudis, but they should at least work with, you know, the American government and the Canadian, New Zealand, Australian, you know, those kind of maybe five eyes you would call them and maybe the EU. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Fred, and thank you very much uh, for joining me. Thank you. All right. No problem. Thank you, too. All right. And.